I was uh, I was I was in Variety. Uh, I was on the cover of Variety with Joel McHale th- uh, this last week. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, little little dream come true. I got to mark this one off my uh, my uh, non hack version of a bucket list. Um, <laughs> The, uh, was there a hilarious variety headline with great abbreviations? Well, it did say it's. I didn't get this for a really long time. It said it was a picture of me and Joel, and then it says imperfect harmony. <laughs> what, what, what's not to get there? Well, I didn't. I was like, cause, well, because the the I and the M and imperfect were in red, and then the perfect was in white. That's 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 needless. Yeah, because well, so it was like, yeah for a long time it was like oh in perfect harmony the se- would be a phrase, like no one really so they're Im- trying to Im- italicize the im yeah it was like Im- more like imperfect <laughs> harmony and, and, and like ch- you know building on that old chestnut perfect harmony like it's like okay that's a musical term but like I mean I don't know, I don't know. but anyways. The uh, uh, yes, thank you for putting me on your cover. Uh, I have some notes. The uh, <laughs> I'm sure whoever wrote that headline will agree with me that they, that was not their finest hour. The, uh, the, it, it, the, it sounds like a, 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 a protracted meeting went on about that. I just like, some 19 year old kid that has to sit in this cubicle and he's like Dan Harmon. <laughs> Dan, God damn it, Dan! Dan, good time. D- don't don't displease the Harmon. Mikhail's Navy Harmon. Mm, oh my God, Irish Irish delight. Um, uh, the, uh, I just, there's a paragraph in it that says Dan Harmon finishes his breakfast of peanut butter filled pretzels. Uh, before hopping on his Segway, which he purchased to conserve energy, dash his own. That's a, that's a good lead. And it's the. And it's. The, I, I would continue reading that article. Well, that's, that's not the opener. That's just a. Oh. It's a, like if you if you write. Oh, if, that, that's how you start it. You start with is, that line. This is this is this is the things I have no reason to, I have no I have no right to complain about uh, section but like like I mean, like if you write an article about me here's the start of my complaint uh, uh, like it it would seem that if you don't mention my fat gut like you get fined by <laughs> some kind of press union or something like, like like and it's always like the last two like I was in Hollywood Reporter and it's always those his visible paunch his his protruding paunch his pronounced paunch bulges from beneath his sweater as he slovenly sucks up a bowl of skittles with d- d- downing globs of frog meat <laughs> Uh, a, 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 a timid slave clad Leia struggles against her chains as he gurgles his desires in a, a language only, only worms could understand. <laughs> And I, I know, so, I know the battle yeah, of the sexes so, is over, and the men won, and we don't have anything to complain about. But man, you just don't see the, that in articles about female showrunners. It's like just physical discover her calf muscles could use some work, but uh, <laughs> she, like, you don't is, know how much hell you'd catch if you. Also, like they're talking about writers, not actors. Like, I know that's what I'm saying. If you describe Shonda Rhimes in an article about her, do you know how much trouble you would get into? Like if it's just like like like, like clinically. Scrutinizing her, like giving a giving a description of her, or any. any like, I think you know it, it, that seems a bit harsh, but like part of what's for sale if someone's writing an article about you is the fact that you're willfully, like you, you're just you, like like, and part of that is like the you know a glass. Is of what fun. you see, yes. part of part of what what's for sale here is what you're yeah. looking at, what you're picking on, and and, the, and that big you've... fat nerd shit. <laughs> The big, the big shitty, thick shit face uh, waddles into the room with shit coming out of his face. What it's going to be another hard day in the writer's room. What do you think would have been different? Let, let's say, going back, same behavior, same attitudes towards authority. If I looked like Steve Levitan, would yeah. it be different about the article? It would be no, like, no, no, like no. What? Do you, do you think you would still have been fired for the same behavior if you were, like, super sexy? Like, if you were, like... No. You wouldn't have been fired. Nope. You don't think so? Wouldn't there have been more outrage if you if you if if, if you they wouldn't have noticed it. I would have been, if I if I took a shower every day and was passionate about my show. It would it wouldn't look like I was crazy. It would look like I was I was awesome. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, I get it. He's like Zucker Zuckerman from college. <laughs> 
he always he was always into, mad into basketball, man. And he fucking got up every day, took a shower, and got fucking aggro on the court. That's just that's Harmon. He's like the Zuckerberg. Do, 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 do. Don't people want to take down really good-looking people, too, that are in positions Not of power? the other good-looking people. That's, that's all us ugly people, because we're looking at them on billboards. You're we're like, I want, take, I want to take those guys down. First of all, you're not ugly. You're not an ugly person. Thanks, Jeff. Must have been hard for you to say. <laughs> it was the easiest thing I've said all night. Queer. You're, you're good. <laughs> so anyways, that's, I deserve better. That's, that's why you get fired. That's why you get fired. <laughs> it's your strange homophobia for no reason. <laughs> It's your rampant homophobia. <laughs>